like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you This, ladies and gentlemen, is called investing in a man to secure your future. So you never have to work again. So this girl, she has her master's degree. She make bank money, whatever the case may be. She bought this college football player. We know college players, they not get paid. This expensive ass damn truck. There's no way, shape, or form you could tell me that she's doing that to the kindness of her heart. Why? Because he's a black man without a degree yet. There's only but so many places that are going to hire his black ass. There's no way he's making over $20 an hour. He can't even afford that truck himself. I want to give a shout out to the Asian brother right there who came directly out of the blue. He uh, must have heard the bass signal and uh, he swooped in and he was like, hey, let me just give a little bit of a correction. And he did a little splice to the video, added himself in there and gave the number, I think, what was it, 2.7 million. But yet you saw a whole woman there pocket watching, talking about this dude is broke. He don't got nothing. He don't got a degree. He don't got this. Who going to hire him? He's a bum. And then talking about, oh, the black woman, you know, she got her money good. You know, she getting the bag. She running it up. She got a couple of businesses. I don't know what it is that she doing. But obviously, she doing something nice because she bought him this car. Because we all know, as a black man, he could never afford something this nice. Wow. And people, <laughs> and again, shout out to the Asian brother right there who decided to just put in a silent cut. He didn't say nothing negative to her or about her. He, he, he almost really didn't even speak on the situation. He just added more information so that people could actually decide to critically think and look at what she said and look at what's being stated directly in the black and white on paper. It's a clear cut difference. See how it is when you're a black man and you're minding your own business and you got somebody else out here that decides that they want to mind all of your business and then they want to go online and make a whole think piece directly about you because they want views. They're trying to get money. They're trying to get their 15 minutes of fame somehow, some way. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? We all know that that young woman there who wanted to talk and badmouth that young brother that's in college, we all know she couldn't afford that car. We all know she ain't driving that car because, again, if she had the money, she wouldn't be worried about what somebody else was doing with money. Like I said, it's a, it's a clear-cut difference in levels. Because, again, you don't see the brother on social media talking about her. Or even being worried about or concerned about her. He's worried about bigger things. He's worried about bringing in more money. He's already worth, what, $2.7 million? That's a lot of money. He can easily multiply that. He stay healthy. He stay in shape. Keep doing workouts. He makes sure to take care of his body. He could have a pretty lengthy and long career. And not only that, he could also get sponsorships. He could also have some contracts with some different companies that he could represent, that his name could be a part of, just like how Shaquille O'Neal had moved on from the NBA into being a full-fledged businessman. He doesn't have to talk about his NBA career anymore. He could just talk about business because that's what he does. But anyways. I, I, I'm happy that I can see like a face, like a beautiful, beautiful girl's face like you. But like, and also I understand why guys are doing that shit without permission. Because you look beautiful and you know, it's like guys is distinct. You know what I mean? We don't feel anything from black women. Because like, we prefer oriental face, right? Asian faces. Genuinely, like, it's like our DNA. You know what I mean? No. Medically, we just prefer Asian faces or for Asian, we prefer Asian face. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Do you, do you get it or do you don't really get it? I don't agree. I, I mean, yeah, that's what, 
That I, I don't agree either. I'm saying you look really hard. Even from even if it's Asian faces, I really like you. You're very beautiful. That's the point that I was about to say, and you just. But I feel like you didn't need to say all of that. You could have just said that you found me attractive, and that's that. It doesn't sound good. It just sounds like a backhanded Why? compliment. It's a very good compliment. No, it's not. I don't find black women pretty. Which it doesn't mean that I don't like black women. That's two different things. You you. It's you, not that I don't that like them. You just said that you don't find them pretty. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. It, it, that's not what I meant. I like Alicia Keys. I like Tyler. Are, aren't they black? Come on. I don't, I don't care about that. Like, I don't really. Yeah, Come you, on, you don't care about that, but you just say you don't find black girls pretty. I didn't say that. I, I don't find black women pretty. Which it doesn't mean that I don't like black women. That's two different things. I didn't say that I don't like black women, or I don't think they're pretty. Especially, particularly Asian. You don't know, you know, find an article about that? That Asian guys, Asian people prefer Asian people. They tend to be attractive, attractive, attractive easily to Asian people. It's an article. There's a freaking um, uh, what do you call it? The the, the 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 I mean, what do you call it? The study going on. You know, really pretty, by the way. That's all I wanted to say. Thank don't you. Don't get me wrong. Don't matter me. All right, so let me just clarify this right now. I, I'm not trying to hear on this part of the video, oh, well, you know, fathers are important. I'm not trying to hear none of that. Um, because nine times out of 10, if there's a black household, there are black women, which also means that you're gonna have some daughters and granddaughters and different things of that nature. And women are the main ones that are supposed to tell and teach these young girls how to value, respect, and love themselves. They're supposed to, uh, you know, set the presidents out there so that men will know what it is to follow right um i'm not sure who raised this young woman i i am i'm not sure um at all uh i'm not sure how she even stayed directly through that conversation and she was just smiling in confusion just baffled and bewildered that he would even say something like this and the main thing that i've tried to state to a lot of women out here is like hey you know it is what it is you heard what a man of another nationality had to state. And, and, and the young woman here, she looks great. She looks awesome, right? And um, he said a variety of things. He said a variety of things that were negative, that were negative. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just baffled. Like when I first saw the video, I'm like, why are you allowing this dude to say these things directly to you? Like, why are you not popping off? Like, why are you, where, where's the aggression? Like, where's the tone? Where's the, the animosity? Like, where's the comebacks? Where's the quips? Like, where's the smart attitude, right? These are the things like, and, and, I'm, and I'm speaking specifically as a black man from the black community, right? These are the things that I'm used to seeing and hearing when it deals with somebody saying something to a black girl or a black woman like they, they're real quick bop, 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 bop. like you, you you just got lit up <laughs> you know the, the whole place is aired out real quick right and um i expected that energy every single time i happen to see these videos and i've seen these videos for over the you know most of the time over the years and um i i, I don't get the reaction that i expect um every single time never get the reaction it's always a reaction like this and I'm like, wow, I'm so disappointed. The one time I expected the blackness to really show up, to really just air out the whole scene, nothing. And I'm like, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me at this moment in time. But like I said before, um, I, I, I need to understand what specifically are black women teaching these young girls out here? What specifically are black mothers and black grandmothers and black aunts teaching these young women directly out here? Because this is ridiculous. Because I, I really want to know what the divestors have to say about this because, um, you know, this this is your girl. This is one of yours. You raised her. You taught her. You, 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 you know, pulled her into the upbringing. You uh, indoctrinated her. Right. You educated her and, and all of these things. Right. You pushed her in a direction away from guys of the community so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how is it possible that this young one who has so much promise she could very easily be a model if she wanted to right how is it possible that 
she bared through and, and, and just wanted to stay through that conversation. She didn't just immediately hang up whatever voice chat, voice call, uh, Discord, whatever it was. She she didn't just immediately hang up, um, excommunicado and, and just, you know, block the dude on every single thing on social media, just, you know, north and west of the Arctic. None of that. She just stood there in confusion. And then she's trying to find a way to make him understand. Like, that's the thing that really gets on my nerves. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm sick of seeing this type of light attitude when it deals with men of other nationalities and they tend to disrespect you. Because we all know that if it happened from a man that is of the community, this would be a whole different reaction. Her, the, the women in her family would have got in on it. Her friends would have got in on it. Other women on social media that don't even know her would have got directly in on it. But yet, here we are. And all I can sit up there and say is that I'm disappointed. I've been disappointed for years. <laughs> because the, the reactions that I expect for black women to have when it deals with men of other nationalities, I never happen to see that. And I'm like, wow. But anyways. Because this is... how you're overwhelmed and... Because I love them, and, th and this is hard. Like, and this is that. this is killing me. Yeah. But it's for the better. Like, it's yeah. it's for me to get my life better and focus on my schooling, my career, my health. Number one, my health, so I don't fucking die. Because I can't do shit for them if I'm, if I'm dead. Yeah. I can't stop stressing if I don't have help. You yeah. know. And so I it's like, that. and it's like the dads didn't want to help me. They wanted to see me beat. I done lost everything so many times. But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to come back for them. And as far as the whole, I suppose, as far as the whole um, foster whole thing, like, will it be open? Will I still be able to, like, see them, well, bring them gifts yeah. and stuff? Like, what they'll do is they'll set up visitation for you, usually here at the agency or a designation place, whatever the court orders, and you'll be able to see them weekly. Okay, so. that's even better uh, that I can still see them. Oh, yeah, um, you'll get to see them. And, and I can still provide for them, right? Correct. You Birthdays. Can gifts and have all that. Because we're going to encourage that. Because our goal is reunification to get you the help that you need so you're not overwhelmed. And that you can, you know, provide for your kids. I can tell that you care for them. You're just completely overwhelmed. I get that. Yeah, because, like, it's only so. All right, so let's just get this directly out the way. All right, the guys, the fathers are bums. The fathers are bums. The fathers are bums. People are going to say, oh, why don't people teach black men to be more responsible and, and, and to be directly in their children's lives? And again, we, we already established that the guys are bums. There, there's no other way to go about this. There's no other things to really delve deeper directly into. They were bums, right? So we, we, we all have that accounted for good no problem so now let's move on to the next issue here how is it possible that women can keep reiterating and stating for year upon year and year decade upon decade upon decade that there are no good men out here but then somehow some way these guys who are no good seem to coerce or swindle these women into having unprotected relations now, who would be the problem there? Are we going to continuously say that the dudes that we already established are bums are problematic? We're, we're going to paint the problem as the problem? Or are we going to say that the person who fell into the problem is the problem, is the source? Are we going to sit up there and blame the fire for the reason that you got burned on the stove, even though that you know that the fire is hot and it has the potentiality to cause damage to your skin? Or are we going to blame the person for being careless for putting their hand or getting way too close to that stove while it was on and heating up? I'm going to blame the person. So why is it that whenever we have these conversations, since we've already established this. Why is it that every single time we have these conversations, the main go-to from people is like, oh, look at look at these men, they're all bums. Look at these men, they're, they're, they're irresponsible. They don't wanna be acceptable. They, they don't wanna be, why is that always the go-to? Why is it so hard for people to just sit up there and state that, yo, the, that woman or these women out here are really messing up. 
these women really need to get themselves together mentally so they can stop falling for these bums. Because remember, they already established that there are no good men directly out here. So obviously this woman, she slept with a or a few no good men and ended up in this circumstance. And because she couldn't be woman enough to deal with the circumstances of which she lay down for, now she wants to give her kids up. And now she's talking about she wants, you know, she wants to do the whole visitation thing and she's going to get her life right and all of these other types of things. You, you should have been did that before you decided to lay down unprotected as an adult woman with an adult male who we already established and already know are bums. Like, th this is the thing that be killing me. Like, what's up with all the tears? What, like, what, what are all these crocodile tears right now? Because you weren't crying when you were making these kids. You wasn't crying when you was conceiving these kids. You wasn't crying when you was having unprotected relations. So why cry now? It, like, it doesn't make any type of sense. You wouldn't have to cry if you took better care of your body. If you treated your body as a woman like the temple that it's supposed to be, and you didn't allow trash inside of it, you wouldn't have to sit up there and worry about crime. Matter of fact, this video wouldn't even have been happening with you going directly to CPS, allowing a whole other adults to get the hold of your kids. Not only that, but they're probably going to be set up in homes. You don't know where them kids are going to go. You don't know what them kids are going to have to sit up there and deal with. But for whatever reason, you're like, hey, uh, you know, the kids are better off with somebody else versus me. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. See how easy it is for a woman to sit up there and give up responsibility to kids when she don't want to take care of them, when she quote unquote is overwhelmed. Like I said, she wasn't overwhelmed when she was laying down though. She wasn't overwhelmed when she was with those multiple men though. But now she's overwhelmed because those kids are here. And now she want to sit up here and say that, oh, because of the guys and, and you know, because of the kids, like, you know, I lost everything and yada. Y you the one that did it. Don't blame the men. Don't 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 bring don't don't blame the already present problem that we've already established as a problem. You can't do that. That don't make any sense. You got to blame yourself, champ. And I keep saying this time and time again, but you know a lot of people don't want to you know listen to that. A lot of people don't want to pay attention. Anyways, my son going to get going to get mad and storm out to Carly. He on the phone fussing at his girlfriend. I ain't got a dollar in the bank. I said Girl, you ain't got a lot of broke niggas be on the phone telling you what to do. He didn't get at the car and slam the door talking about I can't tell my girlfriend what to do. Not with you, nigga. Girl, you ain't got to listen to no bro telling you what to do. Hey, right, go ahead and hang up on him flat. It ain't even a uh, flip phone. I don't care. Flip it flat. Hey, I ain't got to listen to nothing that you say. I'm the one that's buying you a new shirt. Child. Child, he done got mad at me and they talking about, why are you got to say these things? Why well, I don't want to talk on the phone around you because you, why would you say that to my girlfriend? She does need to listen to me. She ain't got to listen to no broke, nigga. I don't care who, I, listen, my son or not, you ain't got to listen to this new money. Please, please, he asking you for stuff and then want to tell you what to do. I wish you would ask me for something and then you want to tell me what to do. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So this is problematic in a variety of ways. So the mother decided to interject into the conversation with her son. Obviously he's young and she decided to tell the girlfriend, you don't got to listen to him. He broke, he don't got no money. I wouldn't listen to, to no guy that don't got no money trying to tell me something, you know, to do. And he asking me for money. Yeah. Disrespect and devaluing her own son in front of another little girl. And, and this is the, the most interesting thing. She don't know at all. And, and, and this is coming from personal experience, right? She don't know how it is that these little girls like to sit up there and talk to young boys at that stage, how disrespectful they are, how they want to run their mouth and they want to say a whole bunch of things, right? And to further make that worse, you have the mother doing more than likely the exact same thing that that little girl is doing on top of the fact of reinforcing and backing her up, literally siding with that girl over her own son. And not only did you embarrass him in front of his girlfriend, you then decided to come online 
and embarrass him because you thought that this would be a funny TikTok or whatever to innocence do. That's crazy. And again, this is something that's going to live on forever. I keep telling people, you are literally living history at this moment in time. We, we are at a time that nobody prior to us has been able to witness or take part of. We can record any and everything just at the press of a button. But the saddest thing is a lot of people don't understand that certain moments and certain things don't need to be recorded. A lot of things don't need to be heard, don't need to be shared. Just like what this mother did, didn't need to be heard, didn't need to be shared because at the end of the day, it makes her look worse. Well, at least for the logical thinking section of the population, because there was a whole nother set of the population that condoned, that agreed, and that cheered on what it is that this mother did to her own son. Ain't that something? And people wonder why it is that you have a, a lot of these young men out here that have problems and issues with their mothers because of stuff like this. They decide that that they want to put themselves directly into a situation of which has zero to do with them. I'm just trying to figure out for the life of me, what would a mother actually get directly out of this? And again, if you want to look at it a little bit deeper, the septum ring theory does not fail because clearly you can see that the mother has one and then you can also tell by her mannerisms and her behavior that she likes to act pretty young younger than her actual age a lot of mothers need to stop interjecting into the lives of their sons they need to let their sons live their lives you're not their girlfriends not their wives he's not your husband he's not your boyfriend you need to stay directly out of his relationship out of that part of his life again she was wrong on a million different fronts but it's crazy that women online are backing this up and agreeing directly with the belittlement the disrespect that she decided to give and show directly not only to her son but also in front of one of his peers somebody of his own age range so now if his girlfriend wasn't respecting him or his opinion she's now not going to respect him at all she's going to full-fledged 100 percent disrespect him and not only that she's also going to talk about this to her girlfriends as well so he's going to be embarrassed on all fronts he's going to be talked about all over and that's due to the embarrassment by way of his own mother wow that's crazy and again like i said before people wonder why it is that the young men out here have such problematic issues when dealing with their own mothers and why it is that they want to be so far separated from them it's because of stuff like this